I'm Josh Sells, I'm 21 years old from uh, a little village called Chobham in Surrey and yeah, I'm part of Team Crep City. It started probably when I was about 8 years old watching um, Space Jam, the film with obviously Michael Jordan and the Looney Tunes and um, as an 8 year old child watching Mike in the film, I just wanted to be like Mike, it's pretty cliche to say but He's a cool guy so my dad was uh, going to New York for business and he asked if I wanted anything back and the only thing I wanted at that time was a pair of Michael Jordan shoes didn't really know what they were I just said all I want is a pair of Michael Jordan's I don't care what color they are as long as they're Michael Jordan shoes so he went to New York he's probably gone for about a week came back and I was so excited because he told me he had this pair so I was really really excited I didn't know what they were uh, he came back and he gave me the shoes and at the time I didn't know what they were or anything about them but uh, they were a pair of Air Jordan 13 flints which I don't actually have in this like day of age but I really want to get them like still to this day but yeah so it all started with the Air Jordan flints just because that was what was out at the time in New York in the Foot Lockers so he came back with a pair of those. It's a pretty difficult question to answer because I don't really know the answer. Um, I've got pretty addictive personality, so anything I really buy, I have to get the set. So for books, for example, if I buy a book, I have to get the set of the book. If I get a card holder, I then have to get another brand card holder just so I can have it. There's no reason I just I just like to have it. So it's like shoes, for example, it started off with Jordan's, a Jordan 4, and then I wanted all the colours of a Jordan 4, and then Jordan 6. I wanted to try and get all the colours of Jordan 6. I don't know why I just... It's my addictive personality. I just collect it just sort of because you can. So I start off with my favourite Jordans. Obviously Jordan's my favourite brand. So my favourite Jordan is a Jordan 4. Um, I don't know. This in particular is my one of my favourite Jordan 4s. I just love the speckled mid. So I love how the colours all come together. It look, for me, I just think this shoe just looks amazing. Um, so yeah, my favourite Jordan, Jordan 4. This is up there with one of my favourite Jordans. So this was the first Jordan 4 I had as well. Just because as soon as I saw it, I just knew I had to get it. So yeah, this is up there with one of my three. Uh, my second one, another pair of Jordans. Uh, it's the Black Toe 1s. Um, again, I just love the colourway in this shoe. Um, I love the way that the red goes with the black and sort of the blocking. Um, saw it, had to get it. Uh, they go for quite high prices, so I I was never going to pay a high price for it. I had to sort of wait to see the price drop, and I saw a pair for a reasonable price. I probably wouldn't pay it in this day, like now, but I paid it, and I haven't regretted it. I've worn it a lot. The creasing, it creases quite badly, so I'm trying to not wear it as much these days. But, yeah, this is just such a cool shoe. Like, I can wear it with anything. I just really like the shoe. And uh, the last one is big up my boy more prime hooking me up the a6 king with the joe light three ronnie fieg miami's um so i saw this shoe probably before i started collecting i guess and this is what almost started it all um i got it and i was i fell in love with the shoe it was a high price but morgan looked up looked out for me on it um and i try not to wear it but I have to wear it if that makes sense I try and wear all my shoes um, but, so I try not to wear this just because I don't want to get them dirty and I'm pretty bad at looking after my shoes so this I, I don't know why I love this shoe so much this just the colorway is it's something you don't really see every day yeah I just love this shoe it's a very special shoe so thank you Morgan to rock burn and to give away <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say burn the Jordan 4 cements purely because they're quite easy to get and they don't go for much money so they're quite an easy shoe to replace so it's a bit of a cheat answer but yeah I'd burn these ones just because um, I can replace them pretty easily um, oh, uh, giveaway Give away the black toes because um, 
and it's quite a nice gesture. <laughs> I guess just to give anyone a pair of shoes is a nice gesture. Um, I, I, it was hard between the other two, but I definitely wouldn't give away the other pair. So this sort of had to come in somewhere. So yeah, I'd give away these, um, and then rock. These are these are never leaving me. The, this shoe will never ever leave. I'm never gonna sell this. I could be a homeless man, and I'd still have these on my feet. It'd look a bit weird, but. There's no way these would leave me because, again, this is sort of the shoe that started all like my collection purposes. So, yeah, th there's no way I'd burn them. No way. No way I'd give them away. So, yeah, I'd rock these ones. I'm sorry to do this, but it's two more Jordans again. I, I know I'm saying a lot, but I guess that's probably what my collection mainly consists of. Um, but two pairs, they arrived on the same day, so I can't really say, I mean, if you want to give me time, so I suppose I could say the latest one that arrived, but I'll just show you two, just because I can, I guess. So, um, like I've said, the four is my favourite Jordan, so the tour yellows, I saw this on foot when I went to Sneakiness in Paris, and just seeing it on someone's foot, I knew I had to get this shoe, so I've been on the lookout ever since I came back from Paris, and prices are much higher than I initially thought they're going for over 400 and th I li as much as I like the shoe they're not worth 400 pounds and they're quite hard to get in a pretty good con uh, condition so I was at work one day and uh, someone in Tokyo um, posted a photo going for 100 and 115 I think it was and being at work I wasn't allowed to go on my phone so um, I text um, Ron and I said do you mind helping me out I've seen the pair of tall yellows he knew how bad I wanted them um, and I said I can't get them I'm at work I'm struggling would you able to, uh, are you able to help me out and he said yeah no worries and 10 minutes after Ron was like yeah they're yours so I'll send send them your way so thank you to Ron uh, and then yeah uh, same day again uh, postman had a really good day I really like my postman he, um, he dropped off Space Jam 11s um, as I said before, um, this shoe, obviously the Space Jam, mainly is what got me into shoes. Um, so I had to get the Space Jam 11. It was my birthday recently, and one thing my mum told me not to do is spend my birthday money on shoes. And I mean, as you can see, it didn't really <laughs> last too long. So I saw these on eBay, and I'd never buy off eBay just because I don't really trust it. I prefer to use the CC page or people I can rely on. The Instagram was a bit iffy as well, but the guy was a pretty known seller, so I could trust him. So, I mean, I bit the bullet and I just bought them off of eBay. Again, they're a really good price. Really better condition than what I thought they were. Um, not much yellowing. So, for the price, I sort of had to buy. So, I didn't really tell my mum this came out of my birthday money. I just said I got paid from work. So, and she sees this. Hi, mum. <laughs> quite difficult it's between two pairs the first pair being the um, Stan Smith it's just such a classic shoe um, I can wear it with anything I can wear it out for dinner I can wear it with jeans I can wear it with trackies and it's acceptable I, c I can get away with wearing anything I like with it um, so I got this um, going out for a Christmas dinner in London and uh, I nipped off to the Adidas store on Carnaby Street and um, they just happened to have it was the day that they released the American dad Stan Smith, Stan Smith, so I had to get him, he's on the tongue there. I saw it and I just thought it was a really dope concept, obviously. Stan Smith, tennis player, Stan Smith, American dad. Combining them two was such a good idea by Adidas. I think it looks awesome on the tongue, so. And I just love, love it. As you can tell, I've beaten it up. Um, I can wear it to work as well, so my kid's fascinated by it. Being a PE teacher, they all know the cartoon characters, so they find it really sick. Um, and the second pair I'm going to say is um, the Pure Boost. Obviously, there's a lot of talk about the Boost nowadays just being a comfortable shoe, and I can't disagree. Like, it's just so comfortable. I bet my dad actually, um, a pair, so if he tried these on, and I said, if they're not the most comfortable shoe, I don't know what he said for that actually, but I said, if they are the most comfortable shoe, he'd go out and buy a pair. He put them on, wore them around the house for probably five minutes and went up to London and bought a pair of the Ultra Boost and he doesn't take them off his feet now just because they're so comfortable. So 
But if I, obviously the whole concept of the question is you have to wear one pair, so I'm gonna pick the oh, I'm gonna pick the Stan Smith purely because I can wear anything with them and it'll be fine and they're comfortable. I just love the shoes, so yeah, Stan Smith to wear the whole year. It's these. I already told you how much they mean to me. Yeah, definitely take those. If I had a baby, I'd take these over my baby. <laughs> Lots of people have different meanings for a girl. For me, it's just something I really want that I don't have. So um, I could go with something really basic and cliche and just say an Air Max 1 power patter. I do love the shoe, but for the sake of the question, I'm not going to say it because that's just a given answer. Um, so I'm going to say uh, Air Jordan 13 Wheat purely because I just love the colours. I, like I like the 13 but the wheat colour on it, it just looks amazing. It's an old shoe and I've never seen it in a very good condition. So uh, if I could find a dead stock pair, I'd definitely get them. But they're all, the prices are quite high and they've all been worn and they're all pretty battered. So if if I can find a pair for a good price and it's, it's I can't remember what's going with that. <laughs> I think it's quite obvious from my answers today that it's obviously the Jordan brand. Um, I just like the fact that there's so much, like, so many series, so many different colorways. So, yeah, for me, Jordan brand, he nails it on pretty much any shoe. I mean, of, as of recent times, there's been a few shoes that I don't really agree with, I don't really like. But, I mean, go back to the, the OGs, like... Can't go wrong with Jordan. So yeah, Jordan brand for me, um, my favorite, my favorite brand. Because I'm a hype beast, I'm gonna say Supreme X, Bape X, Pata X, Nike X, Jordan. No, I'm joking. Um, uh, it's quite a difficult one because there's a lot of shops, there's a lot of brands that are making unbelievable collection uh, collaborations. So. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna say what I'd, I'm gonna say. What I would like to see come back as a collaboration, and that's Pharrell. Um, I'm a huge Pharrell fan. I think a lot of people know that. So when he was making the ice cream shoes with Reebok, he was knocking them out of the park. They were so sick. Um, this is a pretty weird colorway, but I'd, it's a, it's an OG. I, I love it. Um, when he was making the diamonds and dollars stuff with Reebok. He was on point, so that's something I'd like to see come back, another Pharrell collaboration. Not any of this superstar malarkey, I, I'm not really a fan, Like that's the only thing Pharrell's done wrong in his whole career. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'd like to see another Pharrell collaboration, but something back from like when he was 2006, he had like huge chains and zip-up hoodies, I think that's sick, so yeah, I'm going to say an old school Pharrell collab. Underrated for me is the Cali SBs. Everyone I've shown, I've gone, oh no, I don't like them. I just don't know why. Why don't people like them? The leather on it is so good. I like the way the colors, are. for me, I think the colors go. People have disagreed with that. Um, it looks like the Californian flag to me, so I think these are really dope. I got them um, from Benji Skate Shop in Amsterdam. They posted a post on Instagram saying they've got them and. I saw them and I was just like, oh my god, they're going to sell out straight away in the UK. So I bought them for 170 with shipping from Amsterdam. They came and I was on holiday and I was most so excited just to get back so I could have them. They came and I loved them. I thought they were worth the price. I loved them. And then they did drop in the UK a month later. A month later than that, they were then sitting in Cerax for 40 quid. <laughs> So I could have saved myself a little bit of money, but I suppose, and I didn't even double up on them, so I should have just doubled up. But for me, I think this is such a cool shoe. Like, I don't know why people dislike it. I I love this shoe. Um, so yeah, underrated for me. Overrated pair. I'm gonna catch feelings, and I'm gonna say Raekwon Diodoras. I just think they're a piece of rubbish. Like, I think they're so bad. I don't really mess with Diodoras. I've got one pair of Diodoras, and that's an N900. And I don't really wear them. I think they're pretty dope, but I don't really wear them. And I just, and I like purple, but I don't know. I just, people went crazy from people paying crazy prices. I mean, they're, they're a cool shoe, they're right, but like, 
they're not what people are making out to be. They're like saying that's the best pair this year, and that's bullshit. Like that's awful. That's a, that's a bad show. I hate it. like I don't know. I dislike that shoe quite a lot. So yeah, Raekwon Deodor is so overrated. Uh, a shoe that's essential in any collection. I'm gonna say the Air Force One. Um, I picked this up relatively recently as well. Um, I've worn it twice and they crease horribly, so they've got the shoe tree in. Um, I, I, I say it just because it was, I think in the sort of when sneakers was sort of making its come up, I think that was a huge shoe. Like with hip hop, everyone everyone was pretty much wearing a, um, an Air Force One. The first time I remember seeing an Air Force One was when Fat Joe came out, leaned back, and he had he had the pink joints on and I think they were I I'd love a pair to this day but they go for money just because Fat Joe has them. Um see I love I love them. I had to get them. Um but I think they're a fundamental part in anyone's collection. They came out in eighty seven I think it was. It was the first shoe to have the Nike Air technology. Um and then when I got them out of the box for the first time I felt like Biggie when he was in the film Notorious when he went onto the roof and he opened up the trunk and he had like all of his bad boy clothes, his guns and his drugs. And then he pulls out the white Air Force Ones and he scuffed them and he was like, oh shit. And he started licking them and I just, so when I got them out, I felt really cool. I felt like Biggie, <laughs> but obviously I'm not. Am I a hype beast? Hmm. That's a really good question. And I'm going to say no. Um, a lot of people think I am a hype beast. And I mean, if you step into my bedroom, it's like a hype beast wet dream. Um, I'm going to say no, though, because a lot of the things that I like just so happen to have a lot of hype around it. I don't buy it because I don't like it. I, everything I buy, I buy because I like it. Um, and I'd consider a hype beast. I mean, there's loads of different meanings for a hype beast, but I'm going to say my version of a hype beast is someone who buys stuff because they don't necessarily like it just because... Um, they like the thing that comes with it. They can stunt on Instagram, and they think they look really cool. So, I, I, no, I'm not. I'm gonna say I'm not a hype beast just because I I buy what I like. Everyone has different answers as to what is a sneakerhead, and for me, it's just someone fascinated by shoes. All they do is live, breathe, eat shoes. That's what all they know. Shoes is all they know. Um, so yeah, just someone who's fascinated doesn't really care how many you have. Like if they're just into their shoes and they're fascinated and they they know the history behind it, I'd class it as a sneakerhead. Uh, I probably wouldn't consider myself a sneakerhead because I go to events. I'm speaking to dudes who you can tell have been collecting for a long time, and they're they're telling me things. And I'm just nodding my head. I don't know. I really I, I don't know my knowledge compared to. I mean I'm I do all right, but like compared to some of the dudes, like I just nod my head and go yeah yeah, and just take in what they're saying because. Uh, I don't know a majority of what they're saying. They're really, so I would say I'm not a sneakerhead and just someone who's over fascinated with shoes is, is a sneakerhead. Uh, I would say the sneaker culture is in a really good place right now. It's probably the strongest it's been. Um, a lot of people are into, the, probably the most there's ever been have been into shoes. Um, but if I had to change something, um, it was a bit sad actually. I went to the... I just was walking past the camp out recently and uh, the first 10 members in the queue, this was two days before a shoe was leasing and personally in my opinion the shoe wasn't worth the camp and the dudes in the front of the queue obviously didn't, they don't really know their knowledge and I know for a fact that they're not into shoes but they were just there because of the hype that was around this shoe. A lot of people were talking about it so they just had to have the shoe that, that was being spoken about and for me that was like, it's a bit sad to see because you know I if the shoe is in a high demand so I want people who really want the shoe to get the shoe I personally didn't want the shoe so I'm not going to camp out two days for it um, so yeah I don't really know why they were doing that they didn't I don't know if they resold it I don't know but it was just a sad thing to see so yeah I would change that uh, Crepsy is a sneaker festival based in London um, my personal opinion um, I'm going to say it's the largest in Europe um, it's original. Um, it's a place where people can come and meet from all over. Literally, people are flying in from different countries just to attend 
crepes in. For me, that's a really cool thing to see. I'm speaking to people in queue lines, and they're saying they've flown from Italy, from Asia, and for me, I think that's really cool. That's the movement crepe city's going in. So, yeah, it's it's a huge sneaker festival that happens in London. Um, started in 2009 by Ron, and then obviously Paul and Morgan have taken it to different heights. I I don't think they ever realised how big it could get. Um, so yeah. Shouts out, Crab C. It means a lot. Um, Crab C is way more than just the shoe festival to me. Crab C is it's a family. I've met friends I'm gonna have for life from Crab C. Um, some of my best friends now, and I'm I'm meeting new people every day through the pages, and I just think. It gives such a good platform for people to meet. So something like the barbecue, for instance, I was having people come up to me and thanking me. And they didn't want to attend purely because they didn't know anybody. But it's just like that friend, like it's just such a friendly community to be a part of. As long as you all have that common interest, everyone gets on, which I really like. Um, so Crep City for me is, I'm going to say it's a family. Yeah, big one, weird family. This is so difficult. Uh, it's a flat. Uh, oh, it's thrown me. I thought I knew what it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna uh, a flux. Um, Adidas flux. Um. There won't be any of the GR ones, no in users. I'm gonna say um, it's like the light blue color. I don't know the name of it. It's like the light blue color with like yellow Adidas lines. This is so difficult. Oh, it's heavy. Oh. oh, it's huge. Got some big feet, Tom. Ah, I've got. I think I've got this shoe. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh. Uh, Air Force Nike Air Force 180 because I've got, I've got the similar model to that but I don't have that one and it's 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 the one with like it's white and it has like a neon greeny sole with speckles on. I won't do an Adam and I won't smell it. Um, so an Air Max One, I think. It's quite light. Um, it's got quite a weird texture here. Um, so I'm going to say an Air Max One Safari. Yeah, a Safari. What in the world? It's gonna have a hole. My God. I have no idea. Uh, I'm gonna say it's an Air Max 90. Feels like an Air Max 90 with a soul, but the upper doesn't. Oh, that's got, got a padded tongue like an Air Max. Yeah, Air Max 90 infrared.
Oh, you've stitched me up. I told you brands are not to bring out. I know that this is one of the brands. Where's the logo? Where's the tongue? It doesn't have a tongue. Oh, it does have a tongue. There you go. Uh... Stitch up. I know it's you, and I know. I'm just gonna say a brand that I've asked you not to bring, and I know it's gonna be in it. So I'm gonna guess this. Is... <laughs> oh, no! Wait, hold the phone. Can't see the logo. Ah, ah. Yeah, I told you, it's a, I, for the life, I wouldn't be able to tell you what model it is, but it's a Lecoq Sportif. I told you not to bring one, just because I don't own a pair, I don't really like the model, so I, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you would have done that one just to annoy me. <laughs> 